Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on MQTT. So this time, we are going to work with the robot that we will be controlling using MQTT with the customized application that we will create in our today's video. Or in fact, you can say the same kind of customized application we have created in our previous videos as well using the MIT App Inventor. So this is all that we are going to control or this is all that we are going to do in our today's video basically to control the robot using MQTT application. So let's not waste time and let's straightforward go to the project and let's understand how to create that and how to further control the robot and let's see it in action. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let's start with the project. And before starting with the coding and the application part, let's first of all make the connections of your Node MCU and your robot so that we can uh, do the communication between them and we can further control the movement of our robot, right? So first of all, let me show you the circuit diagram so that we can further start with that. All right, guys, so you can see this is the circuit diagram which I have made over here and over here you can see we have a node MCU uh, in which we will be doing the coding stuff and everything and along with that we are making a connection of your motors and just because we want the connections of your motors in such a way that we can uh, make the movements of your robot forward, backward, left and right everywhere. So we want a proper communication and we want a proper control for that. That's why we have connected or let's say we have interfaced one motor driver in between and that is L293D motor driver module which we are using in here right and to communicate with them we are using four pins which is D4, D6, D7 and D8 which you can see over here like how we have connected them and also our motors are connected in this way. So if you guys want to make the connections and if you want to uh, make it work just the way I'll be showing you today. So in that case, just make the connections as it is just like I have done over here so that you will not face any uh, like difficulty in understanding and to uh, make the connections, right? So this is uh, how you have to make the connections. Now let's move ahead and let's start further uploading the code and let's start further also to see like what is the application that we have created, right? So let's see that. All right, so this is the code which uh, we have in here, right? And uh, in this code, basically uh, what we have done is we have done a little bit changes according to our last video because there we have already understood how do we do the publish and how do we do the subscribe topics. And uh, according to that, what exactly we have done is this time we have made one changes into the uh, like uh, subscribe topic and uh, that changes is done over here and that is that i am going to change the name of my subscribe topic and that topic name is robot slash movement so this is the name that i have given in this and accordingly i have i am just going to control the robot this time uh, or let's say i'm going to control the motors this time so that's why i am using four pins which is d4 d6 d7 and d8 through which or let's say on which i have simply connected my motors or you can say through the motor driver IC, right? So this is what we have done. And here you can see we have made the uh, four functions forward, backward, left, right, and stop, or you can say stay, in which we are just simply setting up like, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you want to control that, right? So basically you can see like uh, for the forward and backward, we are just sending up the signal in such a way uh, so that we are going to do that. And accordingly, the values that we are gonna receive over here is like 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the values that we are receiving and accordingly we are going to control that, right? So rest everything, uh, uh, like I don't think so that I have to explain it again because this thing I have already covered in my previous videos as well. So if you haven't gone through that, I'll attach the link uh, with the video and I'll also add it in the description so that you can check it and you can uh, get the clarity on that. But if you have already watched that, that's a very good thing. We can move ahead directly right so this is all about the code and these are the few changes that i have made according to my robot right so now what we can do is we can simply upload this code uh, to your robot or you can say to your node mcu right but along with that we need one more thing to be done and that is your application or you can say your customized application so that we have, we can have a complete controls of your uh, robot through that application right 
so we'll do both the things at a time uh, like uploading the code and controlling so before that let me do one thing let me first of all go to the mit app inventor so that i can show you what project i have made and what logic i have built in there right so that uh, you can actually use that same logic right and uh, don't worry about the code and the application i'll attach the link in the description so that you can download everything and you can see what i have done and what changes you can make further to customize your what or to customize your project basically right so let me now jump to the mit app inventor for the application thing so guys you can see this is the application that i have created for my robot so over here you can see by using all the arrangements and uh, all the image and button thing what i have done is i have simply created this thing right and uh, these are the images which i'll be controlling right and uh, accordingly i have also added innovate yourself logo just for the uh, like promotion thing right and uh, along with that now the next thing what we can do is uh, we have to go to blocks where i have actually made the complete logic for this right so over here it's just the same thing connectivity thing what to do when you will be connected to that and what you will not do uh, when you are not connected so everything is written over here and accordingly we have four images over here uh, or let's say five images over here which is to forward backward left and right and stop so accordingly what we are doing is whenever we'll press any of the button we will send one signal and that signal is one two three four and zero so these are the five values that we are sending and accordingly as per the code what we have done is we have simply specified that out of all the five values only one will be active at a time right so if i am sending one that means signal one will be taken and the action according to the one will be uh, proceeded right similarly for the rest of the cases as well so this is the way how we have done that and how we have made the logic right so once everything is done now what next you can do is you can simply create your application just like we have done in a previous video so for that you can simply go to build you can simply click on uh, android apk and once you will click on that it will start uh, like creating an apk format for you so that you can directly download and install it on your smartphone just for the checking purpose right so this is what you can do so i'll click on this and it will take a while okay i have to reload it okay so now i'll go to build and i'll click on this so it will start uh, loading this up and it, once it is done it will create the application for you which you can directly uh, download and install it on your smartphone once that is done we can directly check uh, the application and the working of your project right so just uh, get this thing ready on your side and uh, then we'll start with this right all right so the application is created you can simply click on download or you can scan the qr code so that you can uh, like install it uh, on your smartphone right but in in case you don't want to download it and you want to don't want to install it in this way then i have already added the link in the description you can check that and over here you will uh, get the apk format also also so that you can directly install it and you can uh, check with that right so this is uh, about that so once the application is ready now let's go back to the code so that we can upload it all right so this is the code now also what i have done is i have simply connected my uh, node mcu to my system over here you can see i'll go to tools uh, my node mcu is selected and my port is also uh, over here you can see it is showing me i'll select this and i'll simply upload the program so that i can directly check it out right so let me upload it all right so now the project is uh, ready and in fact you can see your code is also uploaded now what we can do is we can directly communicate our node mcu to the smartphone application and we can further see like uh, how it is working right so let's see that now and let's understand like uh, uh, in action right so let's see that all right guys so guys as you can see that uh, currently i have connected my node mcu or in fact you can say my robot uh, to my charger basically because I don't want uh, it to connect directly to my system only right uh, otherwise you can uh, connect it to your uh, battery as well right but currently I didn't have that so that's why I'm using this one but uh, for the demonstration I'll now open up my application which you can see on my screen like over here right so I'll click on this and uh, you can see this is the application which we have created 
now if uh, i'll not connect to this and if i'll directly try to uh, like make the movements you will see like not connected to mqtt broker this is the message that i'll be getting right so now let's connect it and let's see it in action so you can see it is connected and it is showing me the message as disconnected so now let's uh, make it move forward move forward a backward stop it i stopped it up right now i can make it left turn right turn forward backward right side forward stop right so this is the way like how we can simply control it like how do you want to make the movements forward backward left right stop whatever you want to do so this is the way like how we can easily create our mqtt application so that's all from my side for today i hope you have loved our session today and also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel and also if you haven't understood any of the topics from our today's session then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section so that i can get back to you as soon as possible and i can help you out to solve that problem so that's all from my side for today see you in our next video till then bye bye and happy learning